this website, so Gear wondering. Gear, has a cover for the Baja. So it's like www. Wear gear. <laughs> no, ear gear. Ear gear. E-A-R-G-E-A-R yeah. e -A -R -G -E -A -R dot com. Uh -huh. I believe that's it. Let me make sure go home. And it's got a cover for the Baja. Uh-huh. It's G. Oh, no, it's gear for ears. W-W dot gear for ears. G-E-A-R, E-A-R-S. No, G-E-A-R-F-O-R-E-A-R-S. E-A-R, okay. Dot com. Gearforears.com. So they'll have. They have a Baja cover. Baja cover. All right. Go, here. I'll go back over there and I'll let you see what it looks like. Order. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I hadn't even heard of a Baja cover. Yeah, see, so. Can you see it on the film? I'll be able to go to the website and actually get the picture. And oh, okay. See, so how it's Put a little it bit box and it just goes right over. Okay. Did that work out well for him then? Well, no, he has a cochlear implant. Oh, okay. And so when he told me about this, that oh. he found this, because we tried everything in our power to try right. and get the moisture issue, but when he told me about this website, I told him to email it to me. And then oh. me just going through it, I found that they had Baja covers. Oh, So great. that will help keep moisture off of the hearing right. aid as well. So... Uh, we use them for our hearing aids, so I know they right. work. I, I don't use this company. I order some from somebody else, but I know that if it's the same type of material, uh, it works because we use it for our hearing aid companies. Oh, our okay. Aid That's good. Yeah. Uh, the only other thing I want to discuss for a little bit is my own particular situation. Okay. It's been two years since on Memorial Day of 2009 I had sudden hearing loss. Right. I lost uh, my hearing, mm -hmm. my balance. And apparently it affected my chemical imbalance too because uh, my emotions, I went into basically a nervous breakdown and, and uh, end up having to have professional help to get out of that situation. And I didn't know what percentage of the people went through that. I got the idea that it was a very small percentage that affected them that severe because the surgeon that did the initial surgery trying to repair the eardrum, uh, said it'd take about six weeks to recover. I balanced and everything, and it's been two years, and I still ain't, don't have the balance that I had before. You know, it's been permanent with me. Uh, I was 68 and a half at the time. I, I always uh, felt like I aged about 10 years, and right. just like throwing a light switch. But Sharon's had to go through this with me, my wife of 24 years, so I thought maybe she might make a few comments on trying to live with somebody that goes through a physical and mental shock. It's very hard, huh? Yes. <laughs> it's extremely difficult. And the whole family has to adjust, you know, to their situations. And so um, when he finally uh, was able to get the Baja and uh, the implant and get the appliance put on and everything, it made a lot of difference. It, uh, it, his personality began to come back, his basic personality. He interacted more with the family where he had cut himself off before right. because he just, it made him too nervous to be around everybody. So it, it um, is extremely difficult on family members that are involved in the process, but the Baja has made a tremendous amount of difference in our home life. Now has balance gotten better since you got around yeah. over uh -huh. there? Yeah. yeah. A lot better. Good. I didn't know if that was typical for other people or that was just... That balance issues? No. You know, I'm sure it is, but the, probably the difference between you and other people is when they start noticing their hearing changing and losing it, then they start backing out of social settings, whereas yours was, it was gone. Oh, yeah. And I think that's probably why you, it hits you harder. Because these other people have had to learn how to adapt, and so what they do to adapt is they just start going to stop going to family functions, stop going out to eat, you know. Whereas you woke up and it was gone. Yeah, it was instant. And then I had a company I was running. Mm -hmm. I don't know, we had about 15, 16 employees, but trying to deal with all the company issues, the home issues, and everything else was more than I could handle at that time. 
I mean, yeah. it just quit. Then my oldest son came in and took over, and uh, I went to get professional treatment at that time. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's probably why it just hit you so quick that you yeah. didn't know how to handle it. Yeah. If I hadn't had and family, you probably didn't know what was going on, and so right. that played a major factor into yeah. it. Uh, if it hadn't been for family support, I probably would have made it. All right. That's how tough it got. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty tough. But I'd always been real active and outgoing, but uh, I got to where I'd have to take two or three rests. I couldn't make it through a day because I'd just run out of energy. Right. And uh, if I was at work, I'd have to take a nap during the day and then have to take another nap before I could drive home because I couldn't stay home for 25-minute drive. Couldn't couldn't stay awake for 25 minute drives. What I meant to say. Yeah, but you're probably on the severe end of the spectrum. I mean, I'm sure there's people out there that have probably told Dr. Bob and Dr. Fred those stories. I you know, I don't know. But were you taking? Did they give you medication for? The, yeah, that right. May have been part of it too. Yeah, they started. They give me two or three medications yeah. then. So it could have been a medication interaction. Yeah, you know, the psychologist and yeah. psychiatrist put me on yeah. some meds in to get me stable. Right. First, they just tried to get me stable, so they basically locked me in a room for 10 days. Was <laughs> <laughs> it <laughs> Yeah, I said, you it just. <laughs> And I wouldn't have never guessed that you went through all that. Oh, you would. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was rough for a while. Okay. It's better now. Well, I mean, good. it's been a, and then it's major that this, and Sharon can norm, normally tell if I got my Baja on or not by the right. way I'm acting. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Probably the hardest thing for her is that she'd say something to me, and not so, not so much for other people, but especially for family members. If they don't hear you the first time, then they start screaming. Right, and they don't want to scream. <laughs> you don't need them. Yeah, once they start screaming, it overloads your whole sensory system. Right. You know, your hearing well, it's just not only that, crashes. but then it also distorts it, you know? Yeah. So it doesn't make it any easier for you to understand it. No, it's not. Once they start screaming, it's not easier to understand. Right. It makes it worse, and it took Sharon a while to figure that finally out. figure <laughs> that out. I'd say, quit screaming. Man. Right, <laughs> right. But, no, you know, and that's what people joke around. They're like, oh, I don't have a problem with you, Shannon, so I don't need hearing aids. But I'm also trained to talk to people who are hearing impaired, you know. Oh, too. okay. So I go home, and it's a whole other story. My husband's like, okay, quiet it down. Quiet it down. <laughs> you don't have to scream. But, you know. So, that's probably true, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It's very much true. And I have noticed my daughter... She talks loud because I talk loud. Oh, okay. And I don't have a hearing loss, but it's because I work with people. Who yeah. Are and then once my son would take over the company, what I do with it? Oh, here, down here. I, I can still hear on the phone about like always. Mm -hmm. So I got a wireless device, uh, wireless device so I can, you, you know. So now then, I'm not handicapped at all. Right. I can talk on the phone, I can move my hands, I can work on the computer, I can do everything before. Right. And it cuts out a lot of the background noise. Yeah, and then you just shut this off and <laughs> you're ready to go. I got, I'm in a room where I got two uh, uh, female staff members that work with me and they get to yelling and laughing pretty loud <laughs> sometimes. So I said, you're going to have to calm it down. You're overloading my, right. <laughs> my hair. Right. But the good thing, too, is if you don't want to hear it, just shut them off. <laughs> just, you know? yeah. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and that its information is something that you can use if you're affected by this thing or have a friend that is. Uh, if you'd like to call me for any personal, non-medical advice, but as a patient, you can reach me at 817-366-3041. Uh, That's my cell phone. And during the week, you can reach me direct at my desk at work, 817-529-6601. Uh, and, of course, your primary cell can be the Owens Ear Center in Dallas, Texas, in Fort Worth. Thank you. Mm -hmm.